जी डी बेस्ड लीगल एक्सरसाइज नंबर फिफ्टी नाइन बी रेडी स्टार्ट वेल इज डिफाइंड एज विश डिजायर प्लेजर इंक्लिनेशन चॉइस द फैकल्टी ऑफ कॉन्शियस एंड एस्पेशली ऑफ डेलिब्रेट एक्शन इट इज प्योरली एंड सोलली ए मेंटल प्रोसेस to be ascertained in a prosecution for rape by what the prosecuting witness may have said or done it being a mental process there is no other manner by which her will can be ascertained and it must be to the jury to determine that will by her acts and statements as disclosed by the evidence it is but natural therefore that in charging the jury upon the subject of rape or assault with intent to commit rape the courts should have almost universally and in many cases exclusively discussed consent and resistance there can be no better evidence of willingness is a condition or state of mind no better evidence of unwillingness than resistance no lexicographer recognizes consent as a synonym of willingness and it is apparent that they are not synonymous it is equally apparent on the other hand that the true relation between the words is that willingness is a condition or state of mind and consent one of the evidence of that condition likewise resistance is not a synonym of unwillingness true it is an evidence thereof in all cases therefore where the prosecuting witnesses has an intelligent will the court should charge upon the elements of consent and resistance as being proper elements from which the jury may infer either a favorable or an opposing will it must however be recognized in all cases that the real test is whether the assault was committed against the will of the prosecuting witness broadly this court has accepted and followed the judgments referred to in the above judicial dictionaries as regards the meaning of the word consent as occurring in section 375 ipc it is not necessary to refer to all the decisions and the reference to two decisions of this court shall suffice para in the state of hp versus mango ram 3 a three judge bench of this court while dealing with the aspect of consent for the purposes of section 375 IPC held at page 230 of the report as under submission of the body under the fear of terror cannot be construed as a consented sexual act consent for the purposes of section 375 requires voluntary participation not only after the exercise of intelligence based on the knowledge of the significance and moral quality of the act but after having fully exercised the choice between resistance assent whether there was consent or not is to be ascertained only on a careful study of all relevant circumstances para in the case of uday versus state of karnataka this court put a word of caution that there is no strength jacket formula for determining whether 
consent given by the prosecutrix to sexual intercourse is voluntary or whether it is given under a misconception of fact the court at page 57 of the report stated in the ultimate analysis the test test laid down by the courts provide at best guidance to the judicial mind while considering a question of consent but the court must in each case consider the evidence before it and the surrounding circumstances before reaching a conclusion because each case has its own peculiar facts which may have a bearing on the question whether the consent was voluntary or was given under a misconception of fact para the appellant filed a complaint under section 138 of the negotiable instruments act 1881 the accuser on being summoned by the magistrate filed a petition before the high court under section 482 crpc inter alia praying for dispensing with her personal appearance before the magistrate the single judge of the high court filed allowing the petition and permitting the accused to appear before the trial court through her counsel issued general directions to all the criminal courts as regards holding of trials particularly in cases involving offences under section 138 of the ni act as also in all other cases involving offences technical in nature and not involving moral tripartite the appeal filed by the complainant was listed before a division bench of the supreme court which felt the necessity of referring the matter to a larger bench and thus the appeal was referred to the three judge bench to consider the question whether the high court in exercise of its jurisdiction under section 482 and 483 of the code of criminal procedure 1973 and or under article 227 of the constitution of india could issued the guidelines directing all courts taking consignments of offense under section 138